If we might borrow a phrase and twist it a tad, few circle the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. Buffalo with an opportunity to have a huge victory at home. It ought to be a great one tonight. Time for college football on ESPN. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet will have the call. Buffalo, New York, near beautiful Niagara Falls, the scene for this college football matchup. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us from the sideline shortly. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And it's a matchup between the Bears and the Buffalo Bulls. superiority on one side. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Buffalo has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Harwell from the one. What a collision. The return. Kickoff returns 27 yards. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. They give to the tailback. Around the 48-yard line. On the play. First down. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. 16 yards. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Second down and ten to second down and ten to go. Ball on the 20. Here's an opening. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. 
A nice six-play, 73-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, the defensive coordinators and the poor linebackers who are trying to get to everybody lined up right, they just don't know what's coming next. You know, they're trying to read tendencies. They're trying to get a balanced attack is really causing a lot of confusion for this defense. So the score now, 7-0. Looks to pass. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Ball on the 18. On the 18. He throws it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. That makes it fourth and long. Harwell is back awaiting the punt. Tackle made at the 44. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. First and 10. Ball on the 46. to throw. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. First down, look at the throw. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 28. Pruitt picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. yardage on that run. Gaston picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Back to pass. And they make the stop at the seventh. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. What? They bring him down in the backfield. From the 10 yard line, second down. Makes it to the nine. A one yard gain by the halfback. That makes it third and goal. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. This place is getting loud. Back to pass. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he's 
tackled around the 27-yard line. Lee picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up second and three. He may have changed things up here. Brought down around the 30-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. They go with the option. From their own, th from their own 34-yard line. It's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 46. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Bears. 